Do you need to connect an existing infrastructure on Azure with SD1? Cisco Cloud on RAM for Multicloud will do it in minutes. Nick, the networking expert, is preparing for connecting SD1 with Brownfield on Azure. But what are actually Greenfield and Brownfield deployments? Greenfield is a term referring to deployment from scratch without the need to consider any existing systems. Brownfield must integrate with an existing, already running setup. And this one is our case. Steve from the cloud team has an already existing VVAN across different regions with already running VHubs. Nick knows how to connect SD1 to Azure with a few clicks in automated fashion. Let's take a quick look into Azure portal. Here we can see that Steve currently has three VHubs deployed. We will focus on two of them. One of them, deployed in West US, has already a network appliance. Another one in East US does not have any virtual routers. Let's connect Catalyst SD1 to the existing Azure infrastructure in East US. Nick navigated to Cloud on RAM for multi-cloud, as in this dashboard we monitor what is already deployed. Let's move on to the Catalyst 8KV unified deployment amongst all cloud providers. SD1 Manager guides us through the entire deployment process. Whenever possible, it uses smart default values. In this flow, we must select VHub, and here is the essence of brownfield and greenfield differentiation. The drop-down menu allows us to create a new VHub or select an already existing one. Following these simple steps, we enable Azure integration with Cisco Catalyst SD1 and Brownfield deployment. The status of the deployment is available via the user interface, until we see the notification about successful creation. Now coming back to the Azure portal, in the East US region we can see a new network appliance. With Catalyst SD1 Cloud on Ramp, your network is truly cloud ready. Do you want to see it yourself? Go to our free DCloud Multicloud Lab, scan the QR code or use the link in the description below.